KPIs and effective KPIs are one of the things that I took away. Um, in addition to, it was uh, interesting to see we're uh, not a large company, but um, there are a lot of larger companies present and we all ser share the same um, challenges um, regardless of the size of the company. Um, and um, with some of the presentations, it was helpful to see um, some of the system integrations and um, sort of automated uh, um, capabilities to improve our processes. Well, um, our presentation again was um, in, a, in an environment where we had constrained um, resources. We couldn't look at uh, system integrations which would have give us, given us um, known process efficiencies. Uh, we needed to um, um, identify process efficiencies um, prior to the um, increase of P2P activity that we expected um, for some things that we were bringing in-house. And um, I think key to it in, in using the Lean Six Sigma approach was really spending the time to map out your current state process. Um, and, and it's really key not to start with uh, working from a procedure or working from an existing process flow, but to build it from scratch with a, a, a team of stakeholders involved in the process, because it really helps identify and nine times out of 10, you'll find that there are steps involved that people are um, engaged in that aren't documented. Um, they may be actually better ways to do things that they're doing um, that aren't documented. So it's really starting with a clean slate and building that step-by-step -step current state um, from scratch. Um, again, I think it was very helpful with some of the sponsors who um, provide um, automated applications um, that can um, assist with the P2P process um, in, in taking some of the manual uh, labor-intensive elements out and, and make it more streamlined and touchless. Um, it was nice to um, get an overview of their products. And, and again, I think um, to uh, network with people um, from other companies, no matter how large or small, um, involved in the P2P process to share um, best practices and uh, pain points.